Hello everyone. Welcome to the Old Man and the Reed. My name is Jerry. Today I'm going to talk about another very exceptional writer. Uh, his name is Halder Laxness and he's uh, an Icelandic uh, writer. Uh, won the Nobel Prize in 1955, a Nobre Nobel Prize for li in liter literature, and that's actually how I discovered him. I was in the process of uh, attempting to read at least one book by each of the Nobel Prize winners, and uh, when I read his, I was just really taken with it, and he's quite an exceptional writer, but I haven't read a lot of uh, his work. Uh, he wrote quite a number of pieces, but uh, I only have five of them. But anyway, uh, he wrote uh, uh, some of the most beautiful passages uh, you could imagine in literature and uh, often used uh, humor in his writing, but uh, quite an exceptional writer. Anyway, I'll show you what I have and say a little bit about him. Uh, the earliest book I have uh, of his it was published in 1934 and this is Independent People. Uh, it's a story that follows a man named Björtur uh, who is a, a sheep farmer and uh, he lives in extreme poverty and lives in a like a cave-like uh, structure known as a croft. But uh, he's was a very unlikable character and um, he could be, uh, was probably responsible for the death of uh, two of his wives and he pretty much drove all of his children to leave uh, when they were old, en old enough, uh, including uh, his oldest daughter who he actually was probably the only one he really cared for. Um, but uh, it's a uh, extraordinary book uh, and uh, it's uh, considered by many to be among the best books of the 20th century. In uh, 1938 he published World Light and this is a story that follows a man Olafar uh, from childhood to old age and uh, he grows up in a very uh, abusive household and uh, he's bedridden uh, much of his youth, but uh, he lives a very troubled life and uh, but is uh, wants to be a poet and he is a poet at heart. In 1957 he published uh, The Fish Can Sing and uh, this is about an orphan who grows up uh, under a, a very caring older couple he calls his grandparents. But he grows up uh, wanting to be a fisherman, uh, but he has some talent as a singer, and he meets a man who is uh, supposed to be a famous uh, opera singer and wants to follow in his footsteps and but uh, circumstances intervene. In uh, 1960 he published Paradise Reclaimed uh, and this is about a, a, a very humble farmer who is scraping by uh, on his farm uh, to support his wife and children and uh, then he meets a Mormon uh, bishop who convinces him to uh, go to Utah to become, and he does, and becomes a bricklayer. But uh, several years later, then he uh, reunites with his family. And the last book I have was uh, published in 1968, and this is Under the Glacier. Uh, uh, it's a humorous tale uh, about a man who uh, has uh, been sent by an Icelandic bishop to investigate and find the truth about a, a parish priest. The priest has been acting uh, very strangely, and uh, 
He does not hold church services and is living with a woman who is not his wife. But those are the books I've read by Halder Laxness, and not a, num not a large number of them, but just exceptionally well-written books. Uh, anyway, I want to thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on another video. Thanks.